In this video, we will demonstrate how to animate the stock lifters of a tool assembly using the LogoPress 3 die simulation software. First, go select the simulation tab of the property manager, and then make sure that the values within the strokes section have been filled out properly. You may have to expand this section. There is the press stroke, the stripper travel, and the strip lift height. At this point, once these have been entered, you can animate the tool by selecting play. You can see we have the basic animation of the tool. Press stop. But to animate other items that are not included in the, in the basic animation, such as stock lifters, this has to be done in the components to animate section. We will have to add another sequence by first select the last sequence in the list and then select the add a new animation sequence icon. Then we will select the components that we would like to animate. I'll click on the lifters. If there are multiple instances of the item that you have selected, just click on the select, it, select all instances of this component. And you can see the other instances have been selected and added to the list. Next, we will need to select a motion link from this pull down list. In this case, we will select link to the strip vertically. This means that the lifters will move up and down with the strip. At any point, you can rename a sequence name by doing a slow left click on it and typing in what you would like. We can then simulate the, the tool again we can uh, change the die speed by typing in our strokes per minute and then select play again. You can see the lifters are now moving up and down. If I show the strip assembly, you can see that they are moving up and down with the strip lift height. And that is how you add another sequence to animate the lifters.